Hey, hey, hey everyone, it's Emma Smedden here. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the three ways that you can get moving. So, I want to share with you my three dead simple, easy to action ways to get yourself moving because quite often I hear over and over again, I'm not getting anywhere. Or I see it on my Facebook, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere. And I've seen it loads today. So I thought I'd just really quickly share with you some top tips that I've got, just three, to get you moving and to get things moving faster for you, if that's where you're at. Before I get started, um, I'd love you to just jump on and say hi, let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching for the first time, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, feel free to share this video. But also, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about, like, if you're if you're only jumping on for the first time, you don't know who I am or someone shared this with you. Um, my name is Emma. I am um, a 41, soon to be 42 year old, busy working mum, right? And uh, what I do for a living, I help lots of people to, particularly women, a lot of the time to make a second income or an only income. I help people to stand on their own two feet, to be financially independent. I've been doing that really for about six years now and I absolutely love it. So I've got some great tips that I could share with you to help you to get your business moving, your relationship moving, your life moving in the right direction. It might be um, going to the gym, I don't know, but we're gonna be like, Really quick, because I've got a puppy that I'll show you at the end if you want to stay on and see Melvin and meet him. He's super cute. Um, he actually wants to get out of there now, typically, because he can hear me talking. So, um, if you're jumping on, thank you for jumping on and saying hi. Um, so, this is really about, are you or do you know one of those people who always says, or you see people saying it all the time, um, I'm really trying but nothing's happening or this is um, I'm not getting anywhere I've been doing this for about a year I've been going to the gym for a, a little bit of time and this is not working I've been on a diet for a while and it's not working I'm not getting anywhere right that is really common right give me some hearts and loves if you know what I mean right we've all been there from time to time right we've all been there from time to time where we think well I'm putting I'm doing everything I can I'm doing everything I can to get moving, but this is happening, this is not happening for me, right? And it can be so incredibly frustrating, right? It can be really frustrating. If you've been ever frustrated by that, give me a wow face, right? Let me know if I'm talking to you, if you can hear me, um, in terms of hear me in your heart. I'm gonna go and get Melvin because he's crying, the poor little mite, and then I'll come back. In fact, I'll take you with me. Let's do the live over here where Melvin is, shall we? That'll be easier, and then he can, he can get involved. Just one second, let me get the dog. One second, come here my little darling. What's the matter? Come here, come and say hi. Come and say hi. Oh, hello. Hey, who's this? Oh, we're in the sun. Right, come over here. So, oh, you've got to be adaptable, right? <laughs> so, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm gonna hold Melvin for a minute because I don't want him to cry. He's just a new puppy, he's nine weeks old. Hey Melvin, may I say hi? So, if that's you, if you are not getting anywhere or if you're struggling in anything, like any area of your life, it might be your relationships, it might be your business, it might be your career, it could be anything, right? We all, number one is we all struggle from time to time. But the best thing that you can do, in my opinion, is to take responsibility for where you're at, okay? So that's number one tip. It might not be what you were expecting, but my number one tip for if you're not getting anywhere is to take responsibility for that, to realise that if you're not getting anywhere, anywhere in something, in life or in the gym or whatever it is that you're doing, do you want to get down? Do want to get down? Then that's your responsibility because we are all responsible for ourselves ultimately. Okay, if your diet is not working, it's quite likely that maybe you're not sticking to it actually, honestly, properly. If your business is not going the way that you want it to do it, honestly, are you actually doing enough? Because I look at it quite often in people's businesses or diets or gym memberships or anything like that quite often we say we're going to the gym but we're not really doing anything when we get there we say we're building a business and we're talking to people excuse me there we go do you want to go outside go on go on i'll open the door because you want to go outside there you go we say we're talking to people right but really are you really really going out there and sharing your opportunity and sharing your business and sharing what you do with enough people every single day or is it easier right and i'm like i've been here too that's why i recognize it is it easier just to go i'm not getting anywhere and then all of a sudden it feels like it's not really our fault right <laughs> if i'm not getting anywhere in my head means i'm not doing anything because ultimately if you were doing enough then you would be getting somewhere right so being honest with yourself and taking responsibility for exactly where you are, whether it's in your business, your relationship, your lifestyle, your career, your 
weight loss or weight gain or fitness plan or anything, right? If you're not where you want to be and you're not getting anywhere, this is no one else's fault. This is always our responsibility. Even if other things happen around you all the time, they're going to, that's a fact of life, right? Stuff is gonna happen to us all the time. Real life always comes into our, our sphere of being, right? So things are gonna come along that are gonna stop you going to the gym from time to time. Things are gonna come along that mean that you may be your business takes a backward step or your relationship takes a backward step. Sometimes what we are responsible for and only responsible for is what we do about what happens to us. We can't affect the outside world all the time. We can't affect everything and every relationship that we have. But what we can affect is what we do about what happens. So that's number one tip. Take responsibility for the fact that you're not getting anywhere. Because if you're not getting anywhere, it's probably because you're not doing enough about it. You're not taking action and you're not taking responsibility. And that can be tough, right? I know that can be tough to admit. And there'll definitely be people watching this live going, no, 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 it's not, I am, I'm doing loads. I'm doing everything I can. If you were doing everything you could be doing, honestly, right? You would definitely be making some progress. So are you actually really, and this is number two, are you really not getting anywhere? Or are you just not moving fast as, you, as fast as you would like? Because that's different, right? If you're moving forwards at all, then you're moving in a direction more than the people who are doing nothing. So have a real look and go, honestly, am I really not getting anywhere? Or am I just not quite getting there fast enough? Is the weight not coming off fast enough for me? Is my, if you're bulking up, maybe it's not happening fast enough. If your business isn't growing fast enough, or you're not getting enough customers or team members or people through the door or whatever, if that's not fast enough, that's different from I'm not getting anywhere. That means you just haven't been doing it long enough and hard enough. That's a different thing. So that's question number two. Is it really not getting, are you really not getting anywhere? Or are you just not getting where you want as quick as you would like? In which case, if what you're doing is working, just do more of it. You don't always have to completely change your strategy. You don't always have to completely go and do the next thing, the next thing, the new thing, the different gym, the different class, the different uh, diet, the different business, right? You just do it, what you're doing, if it's working, even if it's not quite fast enough, is do more of it. Maybe tweak it a little bit, but you don't need to wholesale change things if you're making some progress. Because some progress is better than what? No progress. If you're learning to, if you want to run a marathon, you're going to have to start by walking a mile. That's just the way it is. It's frustrating. No one's going to get up and just run a marathon. No one's going to get up and you just build the most successful business that there is out there. You've got to learn and grow and invest in yourself and spend time on it and all of that. So number one is take responsibility. Number two, are you really, ask the question, are you really getting nowhere? Or are you just not getting where you'd like to get as fast as you would like to get? Let me know if this is making sense. Give me some loves and hearts. That would be amazing. Thank you. A thumbs up. Something like that. I don't know. Little emojis in the bottom. Okay, so that's number two. Number three. I think there's going to be four things, actually. I said there'd be only three, but there's going to be four. Number three is I want you to take action. If this is resonating with you. Sorry, I'm just checking on the puppy. If this is resonating with you, I want you to take action for just 10 days, right? You can commit to anything for 10 days right? You can commit to anything for 10 days. You can commit to not going out. You can commit to not eating bread. You can commit to going to the gym. You can commit to doing a Facebook live. You can commit to talking to more people, talking to a certain number of people. You can commit to making those difficult telephone conversations. You can commit to anything for 10 days. What happens is sometimes we commit or we try to commit to these really big lofty goals that are so big that it's almost like trying to climb Mount Everest with no equipment. So we get, we make a couple of steps and we move a little bit forward and then it's like, oh, it's too difficult and I'm not getting anywhere and we give up, right? That's what happens is people, if you're not getting anywhere or if you get nowhere, oops, it just fell out the door, you're all right. If you're not getting anywhere or you're not where you want to be, you're not doing enough, you're not doing it fast enough, that's, you, that's down to us, right? So commit to yourself and your career and your business or whatever the thing is that's not going fast enough for you or not, you're not getting anywhere. Could really properly, actually, totally commit to it for 10, just 10 days and then reassess where you are. Anybody can do for ten, anything for 10 days. If you want to learn to run, go and run every day for 10 days. Walk, run, walk, run. If you want to get stronger, if you want to lift weights, go to the gym and do it for 10 days. If you want to build a business, you want to build, you want to speak to more people, you want to go and do that for 10 days and see what happens by the 10th day. Do you think honestly that you're going to be further backwards in 10 days of taking action or further forwards? It's a no-brainer, right? Of course you're going to be further forwards. 
So this is about honesty with ourselves. Be honest. Are you really honestly doing everything that it takes for you to get where you want to be? Because it's dead easy to go, I'm not getting anywhere. This is really slow for me. Nothing's happening. I'm not losing weight. I'm not building a business. No one's buying anything from me. No one's joining. That's not down to anybody but me or you or us ourselves. So honesty, responsibility, action. That's it. In any goal, anything that you want to do. When you take responsibility for where you are right now and what is going on or not going on in your business, in your life, in your relationships, guess what that gives you? Massive amount of power. Because if it's your responsibility, whether it's working or not, then you can change it like that. You have all the power in your relationship, you have all the power in your friendships, you have all the power in your business, all the power in your body. You know, you, even if you are struggling in certain areas, there is certain, there's always something you can do. There's always one more step. There's always something positive step that you can take towards getting this moving for you. So take action for 10 days and see what happens. And then the last step really is about making a plan. So a lot of people, me included over the years, right? We know we want something. We know we want something to happen. And we know we want to get to a goal. But we don't make a plan, we just go, I'm gonna do it today, I'm gonna to get on with it today. We have no plan, no blueprint, we just kind of get started, right? And there's a certain amount of merit in that, I think I love an action taker. But if you walk along the road, right, and you see a guy with some bricks, and you see this guy and he's putting bricks on top of bricks, and you're like, hey buddy, what are you doing? And he goes, um, I'm building a house. All right, cool. What's it gonna look like? What kind of a house? I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. I'm just going to put these bricks on here. I'm going to put them all together and I'm going to see where I end up. Nobody even starts to do anything worth doing without a plan. Whether it's a business plan, a health plan, a personal development plan, a life plan, a relationship plan. If you can just create, now that doesn't mean you can't change things or adapt as you go, but we're talking 10 days here. 10 days of responsibility, 10 days of action, and a plan of what you're gonna do. So you can get up in the morning and you know, today I'm doing this, 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 and this. And what you absolutely, categorically need to do more than anything else is stop blaming anybody else. Stop blaming anybody else. Even if you're not consciously doing it, when we say, I'm not getting anywhere, this isn't working, we're either blaming the kind of the universe or we're putting so much pressure on ourselves that we start the day thinking, I can't even do this, I can't do it, it's too difficult, it's always going wrong for me. So naturally, the world will literally align everything to make sure that it doesn't happen for you that day either. So when you start to think, I'm gonna give this everything I've got, not for six months, not for 12 months, for 10 days, and then we're gonna look and see where we're at. And I promise you, if you, give, if you give whatever it is you're trying to build, a business, a career, a relationship, a gym, a body, whatever, you give it everything you've got for 10 days, no cheating, no lying to yourself, lots of self-responsibility, lots of action, lots of doing the, the, the nitty gritty stuff that you really want to do, all the stuff you avoid, all the things out of your comfort zone, all of the things you get told to do by the people who look after you and mentor you and coach you, all of those things, you do them all, no questions asked. You do all of that for 10 days, I want you to do that. And if you honestly come back to me and say, I did all of those things, I did everything, I did everything, I, I, did, I took all the action, I was totally committed, I wasn't distracted, I didn't do anything that was gonna take me away from my goal. I had a plan, I took action, I executed it day after day after day after day for 10 days, and I got further backwards than forwards. I, would, I, I, don't, I fundamentally don't believe that that is actually possible, to be further backwards when you do that every day. So there's my four tips. Number one, take responsibility. If you're not where you want to be, if things are not moving for you, I'm not getting anywhere, that is your own fault. So it's about taking responsibility. And fault's probably not the right word, it's really more about being honest, right? Being really honest that I'm not where I want to be because I didn't do enough. I didn't stay committed for long enough. I didn't take the necessary steps. It's no one's fault but, but my own or your own or whoever's watching and knows what I mean. And the moment you do that, everything changes because you can change things that are within your control, right? So that's a fundamental game changer in everything. When we t how you do anything is how you'll do everything. If you're lazy and you... What are you doing? 
If you're lazy, generally, if you start things and never finish them, if you jump from thing to thing to thing, that's how you're gonna do loads of things in your life. So just accept that that's the way you've done things in the past and you're responsible for that, so we're gonna change it. So staying committed is absolutely paramount. Number one, taking responsibility. Number two, being honest. Being honest with yourself and going, okay, if I'm not where I wanna be and things are not moving for me or it's not going the way that I want, being honest about how much action are you really, you're probably not doing anything. What are you really doing every single day, honestly? Because at the end of the day, we can all say we're doing this and we can say we're doing that and we can talk about it. But at the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you know and I know what I, I know what I've really done or haven't done. You know what you've really done or haven't done. And the only person that that impacts at the end of the day is you in your goals and me in mine. That's it. So there's no point lying to yourself about what you're really doing or not doing. So that's number two, is be honest with yourself about how much you are really doing to get yourself in that direction. And we're not blaming anybody else anymore. This is down to me and down to you. Number three is take an action for a minimum of 10 days. 10 days, anything in 10 days, change your life in 10 days. Thank you very much for the loves. I hope that means that you're um, aligning yourself with what I'm saying here. Um, taking action for 10 days, you can change your whole mindset in 10 days. You can commit to anything for 10 days. And then the last one is making a plan. Write it down, get committed to it, see it every day. Put it on your notes on your phone. Do something or put it somewhere, Put I would put it on the back of the toilet door, the back of the kitchen door, anywhere you're gonna see it, on your phone, on your screensaver. You turn your phone on, on average, 222 times every single day you look at your phone screen. Imagine if you could see your plan every time you hit your phone screen. Do this, do this, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing, every day for 10 days. And then see how far, for, much further forward you are in 10 days than you were. This isn't about always about speed of success. It isn't always about getting to where you wanna to get to as fast as possible. It's about getting to where you want to get to successfully. Doing it the right way. Getting there and staying there. Getting there and knowing you've achieved something. It's not a, most things in life are not a sprint. Most things are a marathon, but you have to take a step to move forward every single day. You have to take a step to move forward every single day or you will never get where you want to go. That's it, that's it. Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. So that's it from me. I hope that you found that useful. Be honest with yourself. Take responsibility. If you're not where you want to be, it's probably because you are not doing enough if you're honest with yourself. So you can change it. When you're responsible for something, you can change it to make it better. So that's my call to action for you guys. Take responsibility, make a plan, get moving. Let, give me some feedback. I would love to hear from you guys in 10 days time in the comments underneath or on the, just anywhere. I would love you to let me know. I did what you said, Emma. I took massive action for 10 days and my business or my life or my health plan is further forward than it was before. That's what I want to hear. I want to know how you get on in 10 days time. What day are we now? The 14th of August. So I'm going to say one, two, 28th of August. I'm going to bump this post up and I want you to comment on it and let me know how things have gone for you in those 10 days. If you want some help with taking action and getting committed and moving your mindset on and all of that stuff, I'm happy to help you. If you want me to let you know how I can do that, then drop me an inbox, comment below, whatever. But get some action moving, take some action every day and already, as somebody said there, you'll see things will start to move forwards. When it's your responsibility, you're in control. And that's an amazing, amazing thing. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.